A bit of a wild story here. One of our, our co-hosts, Brian Schnee, just had a front row seat to a police chase. It happened in Grand County. He was working on a story with the sheriff's office and was in their car for a ride along. And Brian breaks down what happened next. Take a listen. Hey, Ark Nation, Brian Schnee here in Grand County alongside I-70. We were out with the Grand County Sheriff's Office yesterday focusing on their efforts to take narcotics off of the roadway, specifically looking for fentanyl or methamphetamine, heroin, cocaine, also looking for human smuggling. While we were with them yesterday, we were part of a police pursuit. There was a vehicle that took off from one of their canine deputies that was making a traffic stop. Uh, the vehicle went eastbound on I-70, dropped off a bunch of bags, then went back westbound. We were with Sheriff Jameson Wiggins when we spotted that vehicle near Thompson Springs. The vehicle took off from us going over 120 miles an hour. And eventually after being spiked by using those stop sticks that the deputies used, the vehicle came to a stop and the gentleman was taken into custody. They didn't find the heavy load of narcotics, but about 40 pounds of marijuana and some cash. But we got a first person point of view of not only what it's like to be in a police pursuit, but to witness what they're working on in terms of drug interdiction here in southeastern Utah. Back to you. I hope he uh, wow. had his seatbelt on there going mm -hmm. 120 miles per hour. I'd have been like, oh boy. Yeah, yeah. E exciting stuff. What yeah. got me was the image of those tires. I mean, they use the stop sticks to stop them, but you know, I, I think like, oh, it punctures the tires, right. but there was not anything left apart. of those tires. That person must have kept mm -hmm. trying to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm.